The White House turning the screws on Putin, now targeting the inner circle with potentially crippling financial sanctions so far. We aren't even going after Putin directly, but we also going after Russian bank exports on tech and more. But reporters want to know if the sanctions will go far enough, specifically with the SWIFT international banking system. Watch. Respectfully, sir, what more are you waiting for? Specifically, with the sanctions we've imposed exceed SWIFT. The sanctions we imposed exceed anything that's ever been done. The sanctions we imposed have generated two-thirds of the world joining us. They are profound sanctions. Let's have a conversation in another month or so to see if they're working. Hmm. So without access to SWIFT, Russia would be cut off from most international business. That means they wouldn't be able to sell their oil, which is one of their only sources of income. But at this point, is that still a deterrent? Here with me now is business and economics professor at the King's College in Manhattan and Fox News contributor Brian Brimberg, the man that knows everything about money. <laughs> Don't oversell so, it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the reporters kept asking that question, and typically, yeah. you know, the liberal press, they, they don't push back on yeah. Biden. So what is it to Swift? And why isn't the president moving on that? Yeah, what he's doing is not more severe than SWIFT, because if he was going to go with SWIFT, by the way, it's just how you move money across borders. That's mm -hmm. it. So if you want to buy something from Russia, like oil and gas, you're going to be using the SWIFT system, which is why they haven't gone after it. Europe's mm -hmm. not interested in going after SWIFT, because if they do that, Putin says, forget the oil and gas. And we all know that Europe depends on that oil and gas. So the president pulled up short. That's the name of the game here. That's why markets, which started very red today, mm. ended in the green, because he didn't go that far. Everybody knows it. Markets know it. Most importantly, Putin knows it. So, uh, you know, that's interesting to me, because you would think targeting SWIFT would be the right thing to yeah. do. This is the way that we could actually finally go after Putin without, you know, boots on the ground or something. So why wouldn't the markets react the other way? It seems like they're putting money before yeah. uh, human life. Well, markets tend to put money first. That's what it is. It's a financial mm. market. Uh, but what markets are concerned about is the flow of oil and gas stopping. That's the, from Russia. OK, mm. that's the biggie. That's where you start to see $110, $120 a barrel. The fact that the president hasn't gone after that is something of a relief when it comes to economics. Now, we're not talking morality. We're not talking ethics. We're not talking the bigger issues of war. But from a financial perspective, the markets took a deep breath. The problem is it's very short-sighted because what it does is it keeps Europe dependent on Putin. It gives him a free hand. And over time, that's going to continue to destabilize the world, including financial markets. So we're giving up some short-term pain for a little short-term convenience, but long-term it means we're in the same situation over and over again. Potentially. Just like you know me because you talk about Europe and them putting their money and financial interests first. But the, Europe is also asking the United States help as well. So yeah. why should we continue to help Europe if they're not willing to do things that they can do well, on their own right there? The, the truth is there's only so much we can do. Europe, uh, Europe, Germany, uh, Italy, other countries have made terrible decisions on their energy policy. Foolish, short-sighted, sound good, terrible effects decisions. Unless they change that, and we can help them with that. That's mutually beneficial, by the way. Sending our resources, our oil and gas there, if we're pumping it, producing it, is great. If they don't make that decision, there's nothing we can do for them. And they have yoked themselves to dictators like Putin from here on out. That's a decision that they can only make. They're not showing they have the will to do it. Sadly, our president also is not showing any leadership on that. Right now, we should be talking production and pipelines. That's the language Vladimir Putin speaks. Is it the progressive agenda, the Green New Deal politics preventing us from taking that extra step? It is, and it's been decades in the making in Europe. By the way, Vladimir Putin supports that. He's helped to foment that. It's more like years in the making here in the United States. We should be looking at Europe and saying that's the future. You want to know the green new future? Well, part of it is huge geopolitical instability when the green energy can't meet our needs. That cleaner fossil fuels can. Folks, if you want to power the world, Produce the energy in places that do the best job of doing it cleanly. That's the United States of America. That's where Biden could lead. He'd have to educate the left. He'd have to say, 
you're idealistic, but you're wrong here. There's a better path forward. He could take a middle road, but he's too beholden to the left right now. He says he's going to use all tools at his disposal. He's not. Mm -hmm. He's emphatically not. Tool number one, pipelines and produce, and you can do it cleaner than anybody else. He knows the right thing to do, but he's married to his ideology. I, I think he knows the right thing to do, but I don't think he has the political courage and will to stand up to the people who got him in office. And that's very sad for America. May work for him politically, does not work for us economically, politically, or for security purposes. It's not only just sad, it's dangerous. It's dangerous for the world, it's dangerous for America, that the politics of it all yeah. is preventing us from doing the right thing. Brian, you broke it down. Mm. Where a toddler could understand that. <laughs> I, I'm at a toddler level, Lauren, so that's where you like to keep it. It's because this man has kids. A lot <laughs> so of them. That's true. Thanks, brother. <laughs>